An Erio's original. And welcome to Web Crawlers. This is our mailbag episode where we play your voicemails and read your reviews if we have any. I'm Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stetton. Let's see. Do we have any? We got one from Canada. Oh, my goodness. Eh? From Troy Hennekem. Although it may seem like this five-star review is being coerced for a shout-out, <laughs> I genuinely think that this podcast is absolutely perfect and I actually don't think I could ever get enough. Love you, girls. Aw, thank you. That's very nice. From Canada. We America's love Canada. hat. Your husband's birthplace. That's true. Should we get into some VMs? Let's get into these VMs. Uh-oh, is this a three-parter? Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, wow, we have a couple couple multi-parters. Okay, here we go. Hello. Um, This is Stace calling for the web crawlers. And first thing first, I think I started a thing um, about the driver's test (laughs) calls. Um, I was the first one that called in about Becky and wishing her luck on her driver's test Uh and then shared my horrible driver's test story. Um, and then the, the, all the calls about the driver's test started. And so I feel like that's the new wave of, um, you know, there's been uh, so many voicemails and then that turned into emphasis on this wrong syllable thing, voicemails. <laughs> and now it's driver's test voicemails. Uh-huh. And so yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry or you're welcome. Wait, they're good stories. Like yeah, you they are. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Um, also, I just wanted to also say, because multiple people said that they could hear my name, which I, I wanted to say that I feel like that's my own personal curse because nobody can ever understand my name because Stace? my Stace? parents gave me this weird name and I kind of have a lisp and oh. <laughs> my name is Jace. It's J A Y C E, which is basically Joyce, but with an A. Oh, I like that. So yeah, people yeah, always say my name wrong. I'm used to it though, and I'm just like whatever. I don't really correct people Jace. anymore. So yeah, there's that. But another thing I wanted to say was to add to the car curse girl um, <laughs> no. call and say I think I also have a bit of a car curse. Oh, not that I'm cursed now. Not on wood. My first car that I worked at my minimum wage job at Kmart and saved up for nice. very hard. <laughs> I bought and paid the guy in cash for. It was not a great car. After some problems in the few months later, I couldn't figure out why there was this weird smell in my car no. all the time. Uh-oh. Is there like rats or something? The passenger that? side the would always kind of be a little damp, Passive. like on the floor. <gasps> I was just like, I don't know, this is weird. Damp? And then one day I was cleaning out my I'm car, scared. and I was like, I'm going to deep clean it. Maybe I'll finally get rid of the smell. Oh. And so I pulled up mm. all the like, floor mats and everything. I took literally everything you could possibly take out of the car, out of the car. Okay, there's a part two. Oh, no. Is it going to be like crazy mold or something? I'm so scared. Hey, it's Chase again. <laughs> uh, going for web crawlers. So I pulled everything out of my car. Anyways, when I pull out all the floor mats, oh. there's also like a second, like I pulled out the rubber ones. There's oh. also like a second floor mat under all the floor mats, like under the rubber ones. Yeah. Um, And I pulled those ones out. Oh, no. And under... The floor mat. No. On the passenger side seat. Under the second floor mat. Oh, no. There is literally a giant hole in the floor of the car. Like, I can see the ground (laughs) through the the car floor. That's insane. It was literally, I don't don't even know, a unit of measurement to compare it to right now. I'm blanking. Like, it was like three squares of craft cheese 
Okay. <laughs> That's a great unit of measurement. Oh, okay, no, I get it. It was a pretty big hole. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Three cheese along. Um, this is a giant ass fucking hole in the floor. Just rain. So that was great and fun yeah. and awesome and fun. Loved that. And, you know, that car was my first car. You know, my little Nissan Ultima. I was in the little Nissan Ultima girl. Nice. Whatever. That car had some transmission issues, and it was real fun and awesome and great. And um, eventually, I was, um, you know, just cruising and going to work, and it was winter time, and I live in Indiana. Oh, And um, <laughs> winter is not the best here because I live in northern Indiana, so we get a lot of lake a effects. Lake effects, you know, snow. From oh the Great Lakes. Anyways. Where I live, we have this giant fucking hill that, like, I, I can't even explain it. There's this really big hill that, like, goes down at a really sharp incline out of nowhere because you don't really have mountains up here. It's pretty flat. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of random out of nowhere. But anyways, I'm going down this hill. Also, I'm already petrified of driving, which is why I took so long to take my driver's test. And I'm going to work. It's super icy. I feel myself starting to slide right at the top of the hill. Oh, my God. So I'm trying to put my brakes. I'm trying so hard because I'm, like, terrified. I'm, like, it's no use, but I'm still trying. I'm, like, I, I got to stop because I see at the bottom of the hill there's a red light and there's a pickup truck. Stop. And I'm, like, oh, my God, oh, I'm going to so die. Scary. My life is left. There's one more part. That's you terrifying. Have you on ice or snow? Oh, that's so scary. Because you grew up in California, so there's Yeah, no, no I've never experienced anything like that. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, my God, a three-parter. It's safe again, so I'm probably <laughs> I promise I will shut up after this. Anyways, so there's no stopping it. I tried, but I slide all the way down the hill right into the back of this pickup truck. And oh, my God. And smash the whole front of my car. It's oh, horrible. No. Anyways, there's literally no damage at all to the back of this pickup truck, but my little <laughs> tiny baby Nissan is completely destroyed. Oh, it no. was a nightmare. Oh, honey. And, yeah, so cut that car's gone. Then, anyways, we move on to car two, which is actually my mom's car because she let me take her car and use it to go to work. So I'm, I'm a little cruising in my mom's car. And I'm going around this corner. Mind you, I am not even going that fast, okay? I'm not going that fast. Uh -huh. But I'm going around the corner. It's a little sprinkly rainy. It's not icy or anything. And I'm going like 20 miles an hour. And somehow I just completely start spinning out. Literally, oh, I, no. I did like four circles and slammed into the curb and somehow broke her axle on her car. <laughs> oh, no. And the... It was done. It was done for. Then, the, my next car. I'm driving. I'm, I'm going home on my lunch break because I had to let my dog out. It's raining. A freaking ambulance comes out of nowhere in a fire truck. Flip, flips their lights on, right? Going Like going through a four-way. Oh, through the shit. intersection. And it's pouring rain, but they flip their lights on. Right as they're going through the intersection. So everybody slams on their brakes. I slam on my brakes and I slam right into the person in front of me. Oh, and thankfully no. my car wasn't like destroyed because we were going like, you know, 20 miles an hour or something. But my car was a little fucked up. Their car was a little fucked up. It was bad. Then the lady like halfway scammed me and I'm like, you know, at this point, like 23 years old and I'm kind of dumb and I have social anxiety. And yeah, so it was bad. It was bad. I had other things I was going to talk about, but I rambled for too long. I'm so sorry. You guys, I'm sorry. I'll call back later. I'm getting a little over my fear of leaving voicemails now. Good. I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me. And if I talk for too long, just tell me to shut up and never call again. Okay? I love you so much. Goodbye. Love everybody. Kisses. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Love you. That's a lot of car accidents. I yeah, feel like Jesus, that's scary. If you grow up in the Midwest where there's snow and ice, you're for sure going to get into some sort of... Yeah, I can't even imagine down a hill accident. It's so I, like, scary. Don't even drive in the rain. Yeah, ice hills when you're just like, oh, I'm sliding. There's nothing you can do. You just have to like <laughs> sit in your car and see what happens. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, next message. Hi, Melissa, Ali, and Maria. I'm a new caller listener, and I've been oh. obsessed with the show. <laughs> 
So I wanted to share with you a spooky story that happened to me a while ago. And okay. it might be a little bit long, so I might have to do two parts. <laughs> That's but basically, yeah, that's my family, and I, my family and I took a trip to the Dominican Republic, probably like twelve or ten years ago. The DR. And my parents had friends who lived there, and my siblings and I got along really well with their daughters, who were around probably our age, and we were all in between twelve to fifteen years old. Good age. So they invited us over for dinner at their house, and it is important. It is very important to mention that the house was in a secluded area. So mm-hmm. it was very odd to have random people trespassing the property. Mm-hmm. While we were waiting to eat, my brother and I were trying to look for one of the daughters, whose name is Sophia, because we wanted to show her a new fishing kit we had just bought. Ooh. And we saw her in a swing near the shore of the beach. Mind you, it was very dark outside and the swing was far away from like where everyone else was. Sophia's been dead so for and Yeah. Went, yeah. <laughs> and we called her name and she didn't turn around. Mm, then oof. we touched her so- shoulder. And when she turned around, it was not her. But I swear it was someone who looked like eerily similar to her. Like blonde hair, blue eyes, round face. It was kind of like seeing a, like a slightly different version of our friend Sophia. And my brother and I were so confused because we were like, who the heck is this girl and why do you look so similar to her friend? And why are you like alone here in this swing in the shore? It was just, it was just so very weird. And my brother and I were so spooked. The girl just stared back at us. We didn't say anything else. We just turned around and we didn't say anything because we thought she was just, you know, a random neighbor who had trespassed or something. But later that night, we were playing hide and seek in one of the rooms. Oh. All the lights were never off, a good idea. but you could still see a little. And it was my turn to seek. And I was like looking around the room. I looked on top of the bed and no one was there. And then I looked under the bed. No. And guess who was there? It was a girl who was in the freaking swing. No. And I immediately under the looked bed? up. And my friend Sophia was on top of the bed. And I was like, what? What the hell is happening? And the crazy thing is that the space between the floor and the bed was so tight that even if she had gotten out under the bed and hopped on top, it would have taken her like probably, I don't know, 15 seconds, 30 seconds for her to get out. So there's a part two. Wait, wait so this why was she girl... under the bed? <laughs> What's happening? Okay, so I, cu- I got caught up. <laughs> This is uh, part two of my story. So I was saying that the the space between the bed and the floor was so tight that she couldn't have just like gotten out of that and hopped on top of the bed in the like second that it took me to look down and like on top of the bed. So I was like extremely spooked. I like I screamed. (laughs) Everyone came out of their hiding places. They turned on the lights and they were like, what happened? What happened? And I was like, for a second, I thought, like, they're just fooling around with me. They probably invited a friend over who looks just like Sophia, and they're, like, trying to spook me and my brother. So I was like, like, it had to be a prank or something. And they swore, like, they told me over and over again, like, we have no idea what you're talking about. Like, there's no one around here who looks like her. Uh, Like, we we don't know anyone that looks like Sophia. And no, this is not a prank like they... They swore that it was not a prank. Um, and so until this day, my brother and I always tell this story and no one can explain to us who she was, like who the random girl was, why she was there, why she looked so eerily similar to her friend. So yeah, we have no idea who she was and I guess we'll never find out. That's weird. <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it was really spooky um, and not fun. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the story. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye. Wait, so then did she disappear from under the bed? Like, I guess th- she was under the bed and then he screamed and then apparently she appeared on top of the bed. The real Sophia. Right. Like, was it a bunk bed maybe? On t- on so the then top? The, the fake Sophia was gone. I guess. But his brother saw her too outside on the swing. That's so weird. 
That's a ghost. It was Sophia used to live there a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, what? This is so bizarre. Doppel, Maybe it's like an al- alternate dimension. Alternate dimensions. <laughs> that's scary. That's, yeah, that's, that's really weird. weird. That's, a, that's a creepy story. Okay, next message. This message is for the web crawler. Uh, oh. And la la la. <laughs> yeah, girl. Oh, girl. <laughs> Happy 420, bitches. It is 420, 420. today. Oh, okay. Um, Last month. And I, I just, I have, I have a few things for you. So I saw on Instagram today, this guy was giving away free Ouija boards. And it said, free not haunted and so i ran and i got one and i'm here on my coffee table and it looks so cute but i think you're not supposed to leave the ouija board with the planchette like out because it like leaves not a haunted. Open, I'll take it. let me know if you think i can do that because i think it like looks cuter set up oh, on the coffee table than like in the box but the yeah, box is really cute too anyway sure. super excited sure. super excited about that Free okay. 420 Ouija board, please. Sign me the fuck up. I'm excited. I got... Okay, I didn't bring it back, so I left work to get it, and then I, like, didn't bring you it back to work. the office. But I probably should have, because <laughs> our office is haunted. Oh. Um, so the other, like, a couple weeks ago, my coworker was there at 7.37 in the morning, and she heard a doorbell, and it went, do, 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 do. And it wasn't her computer, like, playing the noise because she heard it, like, echoing throughout the room. And she was, like, looking for a doorbell. We don't have a doorbell. We have one that, like, chimes upstairs, but it just goes, and it doesn't have that other, like, do-do-do-do option. And so we were like, well, it was a ghost. It was a ghost. And then yesterday, um, my mom, like, we, we were both, like, walking down the stairs, but I was behind her, and she was like, there's someone here. And I was like, I didn't hear anyone. And she's like, I just saw someone in a red coat walk into Bob's office. And there was no one fucking there. What? And I've been there before, like, at the office. I've been there by myself, and I'll, like, hear shit. And I'm like, Ooh. it's haunted. So, spooky, spooky. But also, I wanted to tell you um, that... I don't call 911, like, frivolously or, like, <laughs> too frequently, but right after you guys played that episode, I had to fucking call 911 that Sunday, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm a cool girl. I'm I'm one of the cool moms. I'm not a mom, but I'm, like, a cool <laughs> girl, you know? Like, I, <laughs> I guess I think if you have to say that, you're not cool, but just bear with me. So, um... Anyway, uh, oh, I, 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 my, when I was younger, <laughs> I would say there's a part two. I don't call nine one one at all. I did have to, but call I that did write. Right <laughs> I don't know a, cool a better mom. person. I honestly don't. <laughs> the web crawler, honk honk, boy yo yoing, la la la. And so when I was younger, um, my mom would be like, "Oh, like you're cute," or like people would say, "Like you're cute," and I would be like, "I'm not cute. I'm cool, and my favorite color is black, not pink. <laughs> Don't cool. try to put any fucking pink stuff on me. I will deny it. Black, cool girl. Anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm a cool girl. I'm a hip, cool girl, and I am not a narc. Okay, okay. Four twenty blazer, fuck a cab. Not all that stuff you know but if you are drunk driving and you are hitting the median in front of me and you're gonna hit other people in other cars i'm gonna fucking call the police yeah. so yeah I, yeah that's I'm scary like, oh not too much only when it's necessary i promise and i'm also not a narc i'm a cool girl okay la 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 love you Happy 420 Blazer. Okay, good, goodbye. <laughs> no, it's very responsible if you see a drunk driver. Yeah, for oh, sure. Please, save some lives. You're yeah, a lifesaver. You're not a narc. You're a lifesaver. No, you're not a narc. Yeah. Back. Um, this message is for the web crawlers. Um, la 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 la. Boy, yo, yo, Honkity honk. I was not planning on calling you guys back so soon. 
But um, I forgot to mention something. So Nicole Line of Money. I'm well. Okay, let me just set the scene for you here. I'm currently Ooh. cleaning up glass. Oh. Um, on my fucking clean floor, my clean house because I cleaned everything yesterday. I wouldn't have to clean today because it's 420, believe it. And I was <laughs> trying to take a picture of my joint that I just bought at the dispensary to send to my sister. And I dropped it on the ground and it shattered, oh. which is bad luck. The joint shattered? Well, it, the joint is fine. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, it was like it. But the, it was in a glass container and it just shattered all over my floor. So I'm dealing with that uh. right now, but also... On the way home, we had a tornado watch, and it was raining so hard I could not see. And my wipe, my left wiper blade went out on my car. Oh, and no. and like it's it like went it like no, don't come over here, Louis. It went like over, <laughs> like it like overshot and like wiped too hard and like got stuck on the outside of my car. So I could not fucking see. So that was like a thing, and I was dealing with it. And now I just broke this glass and i'm trying not to be superstitious because maybe it's you know just a coincidence but you think it's the ouija board i will (laughs) don't go by the glass i'm talking my dogs i will keep you updated on this situation currently cleaning up Um, i don't know if this is a continuation of the car curse because Mm. technically that would be the third thing that's happened in my car but not very recently i don't know and also um I don't know. I'm a little shaken up right now, to be honest. It's probably fine. It's really probably fine. But I thought I would just let you know. So I will continue. Oh, oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. This is the reason that I originally was going to call you. <laughs> this, ha- this happened to me this morning before I purchased the Ouija board. But, um, or well, actually, I didn't even purchase it. It was free. And it came with a sign. Did I tell you? It came with a sign that said free, not on it. Do you think it's on it? Do you think I'm being followed by a yes. ghost? Uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, don't walk in the glass. A jester. A jester? A junkie jester. Um, a junkie so anyway, jester? I went to Trader Joe's. Kelly. Kelly. Best friend, Kelly. Um, <laughs> Kelly. And I will like share our Trader Joe's. There's one more part. <laughs> What's happening? A court jester's following a junkie jester. Um, this oh message is for God. the web crawlers. Lala. Um, so Kelly and I will share our Trader Joe's hauls, and we'll, we'll post them in the and I share with the antenna. But well, okay. We uh, just collectively in the Discord talk about. Would you guys believe me if I told you that I haven't even smoked yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't believe me because I have. I, I just oh. didn't smoke the joint, but I did hit my weed pen. Woo! Okay, anyway, so this week I went to Trader Joe's um, the other night because oh. I, well, I was just in the area and I was like, why not? It's fun. And, well, it's not even just fun. I think Trader Joe's is like therapy for me. Yeah. Um, who yeah. is calling me? I'm in the middle of something. Uh, it's my boyfriend. I'll call him back. Um, okay. So anyway, I bought a creamy hummus vegetable wrap that I was going to have for lunch. Ooh. And I went to get it out of the fridge to bring it to with me to work today. And it's not there. And what? I was like, maybe what? I already brought it to work. And I checked both of our fridges and I cannot find it. Oh, no. And it's not like, it's even it? in my car. Like there's no bag sitting out. Like I just can't find it. So oh, I was like, no. well, I probably already brought it to work. It. It wasn't at my work. It wasn't in either of the fridges at work. And so, again, this happened before I brought the potentially haunted, probably haunted Ouija board oh. into my house. But um, I just, I, I think it's a glitch situation because I know I bought it. I washed them, bag it. I brought it home. I put it away. Yeah. I didn't eat it yet. I promise. And because it was good until 4.22. And I was like, oh, like I have. And so Saturday to eat this like I'll get it and it's gone and so huh. I will keep you updated if I find it because like I said I looked in my car I looked in both of my fridges um I don't know if my ADHD, ADHD brain like put it somewhere funky like yeah, in a cabinet 
Yeah, maybe it's in like um, your pantry. It out of my life. In the and I just, the universe said, You're, you can't have it. So I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated if I find it. But that was the original reason um, I wanted to call you because I'm missing sandwich. Um, my creamy hummus vegetable wrap glitched out of my house. Huh. And it's gone. That is okay. weird. I think that's it for now. I'm now I'm really gonna go get high. Okay. <laughs> la, 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 love you. Bye. Where could that wrap have gone? Maybe it's if she brings a bag to work, maybe it's like in the bag. Yeah, or maybe maybe you didn't maybe you forgot to actually take it out of one of the Trader Joe's bags and you like oh. threw it away by accident. Yep, that's possible. Or the Ouija I think you'll find it maybe. You'll find it in a weird place. Yeah, in a weird place. In the microwave, in the cabinet, yeah. in a drawer. Freezer, Maybe you the freezer. Freezer, look in the freezer. Yeah. Okay, next message. Hi, this is a message for the web crawlers. Um, I have a little story about when I was working a summer job when I was younger. And it was this little deli where we made sandwiches and we sliced meats, whatever. Um I live in the middle of nowhere in Vermont, mm, and pretty all around, like, the Vermont area, there was this billboard of this lady who was missing, and she had been missing for years, and it was, like, call this number, blah, 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 I've seen her, and it has, like, her face up on the poster, obviously, and so I'm working my little job, you know, I'm the only one there, it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, like, a pretty rainy day, so there wasn't any customers. And I swear to God, this woman comes in, mm. same name and everything, and she orders, and I remember her order specifically because we sold this shrimp sandwich. Um, it had, like, shrimp on it, and she ordered one of those, and I was like, what the fuck? Why the shrimp sandwich? Um, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure this missing lady was just living in uh, bumfuck nowhere, Vermont, Weird. and, like, shrimp, I suppose. <laughs> So, that's my little story. <laughs> Did you call her? I enjoyed that. <laughs> and I hope she's doing well. Um, yeah, she just doesn't want to be found. I hope you ran away what you're running away from. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. Huh. Yeah, she's just living in the middle of nowhere, ordering yeah, shrimp, yeah ordering shrimp sandwiches. It sounds like a dream to me. Yeah. Vermont Vermont looks like a very beautiful I want to go to Vermont fall. really bad. Man. Didn't Maria go there, I think, and she like saw the leaves change or something? Oh, did she go there? I know I know Paisley and Ben. Or maybe went it was there. Paisley. They go there every year. They go up. I really want to do that. Yeah, it's fun. Where didn't Maria go? Where did Maria? Maria I went thought somewhere. Maria went. East. We'll never know. Okay. We'll never know. <laughs> no way to find out. Hi, I am calling because I was just listening to a mailbag episode where a girl said that when you lose a dream, you're not supposed to tell other people that you're in a dream. And then she had a dream where she did that and a demon oh. attacked her. Oh, yeah. And I want to call with my experience is that I lose a dream like all the time. And a lot of times what I am, I'll like realize I'm dreaming and something crazy will be happening and I'll be like, oh, don't worry, guys. This is just a dream. Nothing matters. Mm -hmm. And no demon has ever came at me for saying that. People are just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, this isn't a dream. You're crazy. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> but it is. So I'm going to just do whatever the fuck I want. Um, I've called before. I don't know if it ever played, but... I um, said how when I lucid dream, I'll just be like, fuck it, and just try to, like, fuck the next person I see. Because I'm like, it's a dream. I can be free Sarah, of my sexuality, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my experience. No demons. People just think I'm crazy, but are they the crazy ones? YOLO, bye! Oh, that's a question. You, that is a question. I want a lucid dream, man. I know. I don't. <sighs> I've never done it. Neither. Message. Hi, this message is for web crawlers. Um, this is Heidi, long time listener, first time caller. Ooh, Heidi. Um, God, this is weird. Um, so <laughs> I have a story about Alestra. I think oh, I nice. had a leaky butthole when I was no. like 10, 12. Like, oh, no. I had, um, 
it was a night of like Christmas recital and I was going to go do my like little cute little ballet solo. Oh no. Um, and I was probably just like snacking on chips beforehand, like because it's like you don't want a full stomach or whatever before you perform and um, at home before the recital and like I just had orange butt juice. Like it was really gross. I can't <laughs> believe I'm fucking saying this. Oh no. Now. Um, but like I was just like sitting on the couch and was like, "Why is my, why does my butt feel weird?" And then I was just like bright orange in my underwear and stuff. We couldn't figure out what was going on. Oh no. But I feel like that's what it's gotta be now because it would have been like in the nineties, like right around the time that the show was big. Yeah. But, Oh. Anywho, I don't know. I'm really glad that this is the first time you guys are ever hearing any kind of voicemail from me. Um, <laughs> really good way to break the ice. Yes. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. Butt. Uh, love the show. Love you guys so much. Would love to hear Maria again. But you know what? She's got to do her thing. So anyway, bye guys. Bye bye. Yeah, I bet you I bet you ate a luster chips. A hundred percent. That fat just comes sliding right out of you. Oh, God. That is so oh, nasty. no. Okay, well, last voicemail of... I hope it's about orange shit. Me too. Webcrawlers, hello. <laughs> I wanted to Jordan. thank you for being such an inspiration mm. uh, to me and to everyone with your podcast. And I was inspired by your recent episode called... May cause anal leakage. <laughs> Yay! Uh, to go get my first <laughs> tattoo. Uh, tattoo what? says may cause anal leakage. No, and, uh, it's on my dick. Woo! <laughs> Boing! Joran! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the voicemails. Joran! Perfect. No, 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 Joran. Um, well... All right, guys, another great mailbag episode as <laughs> usual. Great episode. Please continue to call in. Uh, I am Ali Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. And that's all, folks. Bye. Bye. Original. Powered by ACAST.